Hey guys, welcome back to Think Tank Online Learning. So in this video and project your motion. Okay, so a stone is projected at a cliff of height h with the initial speed of 42 meters per second, directed at an angle theta equals 60 degrees above the horizontal. The stone strikes at a 5.50 seconds later after launching. Okay, find the height of the cliff. Okay, so this is the height of the cliff. One to find. The speed of the stone just before the impact at A. Okay, so I want to find the speed of the stone just before the impact. Okay, so it's not going to be zero. The maximum height reached by the reached above the ground. Okay, so I want to find this maximum height. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I am going to resolve upwards and horizontally. Okay, so first of all, if you resolve upwards, okay, so now remember. I'm going to resolve in this direction. Okay, so first of all, we have acceleration. So remember, acceleration is acting downwards, which is G. Okay, so if acceleration is acting downwards, that means my acceleration is going to be negative sign. Since I'm resolving upwards, it's going to be negative G and it's going to be negative 9.8 meters per second. Okay, and what I'm going to have, we also have the velocity. Okay, so you have the initial velocity. So initial velocity is going to be V sine, what is going to be the angle 60. Okay, and re, if you are not familiar about solving the velocity, the velocity, I think you can check on one of my video. I have a video which explains how to solve a force or anything. Okay, just check it. Okay, then we have, it's going to be meters per second. And we have v final we don't know v final why not do that and we have the time taken from for the stone to move from this point to this cliff okay so it's going to be 5.5 seconds okay what else do we have the distance okay so in this case it's going to be the height so i'm going to say yes it's going to be equal to h okay so let's resolve horizontally okay so if we resolve horizontally acceleration is going to be zero Okay, we don't have an acceleration in horizontal direction. Okay, and we have initial velocity is going to be v cos theta. So it's going to be v cos 60 meters per second. And the final is going to be v cos 60 meters per second. Why? Because the acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, and if the time, okay, actually, our time, we actually don't have the time from this point. Because these are initial position so we don't have the time from this position to the ground okay it's from this so i want to say we don't have the time so i'm going to write it yeah and we have the distance okay so from this point to this point you don't have the distance okay so i'm going to say you don't have the distance here yeah? okay so i'm going to start with part a the height of the cliff okay so for part a what we're going to use remember with the acceleration, that's good. With initial velocity, that's good. With the time, that's good. You don't find h. So I think we can use that s is equals to v naught times time plus half a t squared. Okay. So what is this going to give us? So this is going to give us s is h. V naught, I think we have 42 for velocity. It's going to be 42 sine 60 times 5,5. Okay, plus one half for acceleration is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second. And for time, 5.5 squared. Okay, then what is going to be H here? So the answer is going to be 51.8 meters. 51.8 meters. Okay, so that is the height of this cliff. Okay, it's going to be 51.8 meters. So this is part A. Now moving to part B. Okay, the speed of the stone just before the impact. Okay, so now for the speed, remember, we have a dealing with direction. So what we're going to do, we want to find the speed in the y, in the upward direction, and the speed in the horizontal direction. And after that, we're going to find magnitude that will give us the velocity. Okay, so first of all, let me start with the speed in the horizontal. Okay, so the speed is, is going to be the same. I want to say V is going to be V naught cos theta okay since we don't have an acceleration the velocity is not going to change it's going to be 42 cos 60 okay so i think this will give us 21 meters per second okay so this is the v in the x direction so let me just say vx now for vy okay so so for vy what we're going to do remember we said we're solving the upward direction okay 
So what you can do is that we have the initial velocity, we have the final velocity, we want to find the final velocity, we have the distance, okay, from here to here, we have the height, okay, and we have the acceleration. So I'm going to use V is equals to V squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2AS, okay, so V is equal to the square root of V naught squared plus 2AS, okay. So what we are going to get, V naught in the y direction is going to be 42 sine 60, okay, and we are going to square this plus 2, what is going to be the acceleration is going to be negative 9.8, and what is going to be the distance, the distance is going to be 51.8, and we are going to put a square root here, okay. So, what is going to be Vy? Okay, and the answer is going to be equal to 17,5 meters per second. Okay, so remember, we now we have the velocity in the y direction and the velocity in the x direction. So, that means V is equal to the magnitude of the velocity in the y direction and the velocity in the x direction. So, it's going to be vx squared plus vy squared or under the square root okay so i'm going to say 21 squared plus 17.5 squared or under the square root and we're going to get the magnitude of the of the velocity okay and we're going to get 27.4 meters Per second okay so this is the final speed okay now to calculate the maximum height reached by the stone from the ground okay so it maximum height we say the velocity here is equal to zero okay and the velocity in the y direction is equal to zero in the x direction okay so i'm going to say part c okay so it said in part c resolving upwards okay so v final is going to be v initial still the same we have 42 sine 60 meters per second. Okay, and we have a V final. We said it's going to be zero at this point. That's the maximum height. But it's going to be instantaneously at rest. Okay, it's going to come here, then reach zero very fast, then come down. Okay, and we have the time. We don't know the time. Okay, we don't know the time. Then we have H. The distance is going to be H from this point to this point. But the acceleration with the acceleration since we're solving upwards going to be negative g which is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second okay so now i want to think what is the equation that is going to give us this height okay so the equation we have the final velocity we have the initial velocity with the acceleration okay so what if we use v squared is equals to v naught squared plus 2 a s Okay, I think we will succeed if we use that. Okay, because V naught, what do we have for V naught? We have zero. Okay, as a V final, we have zero. Okay, and we have V naught 42 sine 60 squared plus 2 negative 9.8 and 1 find S. We can just call that S H. Okay, so if we bring H on this side, we're going to have. 2 9.8 times 2 2 times 9.8 that is going to give us what is it going to give us it's going to give us 19.6 we're going to have 19.6 h is equal to 42 sine squared okay so if we divide by 19.6 on both sides by 19.6 on both sides h is equal to can say 42 sine 60 okay and i'm going to square that and i'm going to divide by 19.6 so that means the height is equal to 67.5 that is going to be the maximum height okay so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel